Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we will be talking about mining Dogecoin, but also since we'll be using the script algorithm to mine Dogecoin, you will mine Litecoin for free on top. But let's talk about that a little later, shall we? So as you can see, the price of Doge, the journey it has taken is quite insane. It all began as a small coin with very small fees. Um, from a meme, from a do picture of a Shiba Inu that a woman posted uh, from Japan a, a while ago. And because it was so light and cheap and uh, there were a lot of Doge or coins around, as you can see, um, there is a big supply of Doge. Um, people used it to tip each other on social media. However, mainly due to Elon Musk, Doge has been going crazy. And not only Doge, but also the interest in mining Doge. And now the question is, should you get into mining Doge in the year 2021? Especially with the fact that the Gold Shell Mini Doge has been released with 185 mega hash per second. And um, as you can see, even this laser engraved Doge logo. Now, we will be take, taking a look at the script of Doge, what you get for mining, how you can get Doge and Litecoin at the same time, and what the ROI is. And of course, if you are looking to purchase some Doge, mini Doge, or maybe a Bitmain and Miner L7, take a look at the link in the description. You'll find um, the vendors and suppliers that I personally use to purchase the ASIC miners, which are miners that are only used to mine cryptocurrencies and nothing else. You can't play Fortnite on them, right? So one thing that I would like to mention is that this mini Doge, um, unlike many other ASIC miners, it doesn't sound like an airplane is taking off. It's uh, with a noise level of 35 dB. It's rather silent so it's basically like um, a laptop or a desktop pc so that's very convenient and as you can see it packs a lot of um, computing power a lot of hashing power into a very small case and you only need your ethernet cable and the power supply um, nothing more to set it up so it's really easy to actually set it up and you don't need to buy anything extra and since we will be using the script algorithm you can mine Doge and Litecoin at the same time. And um, as you can see, we are here at mining pool stats. These are the biggest mining pools for Doge and also the biggest mining pools for Litecoin. But since we were talking about Doge in this video, let's take a look. And the merged mining is what enables you to get some Litecoin for mining Doge at the same time. Um, I, 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 right now, I won't make a video on what mining pool you will actually choose in the end because that's up to you. Most of the time, I use either um, FP, litecoinpool.org, or Poolin. Um, but basically, when you set up your uh, mini Doge, uh, once you log into your device, it will suggest you, I think, two different mining pools, and then all you have to do is you can literally just click and um, it's almost immediately set up for you. So that is really, really easy. And um, as you can see, when we go all the way to the bottom and we take a look at the hash rate history, which unfortunately will take a while now to load, you'll see that um, the Litecoin, um, since May 21, um, since China got very mad at many crypto miners, the hash rate of um, Litecoin has gone down, but also at the same time, Litecoin is not being developed a lot in the past. Um, it's a shadow of its former self, basically. So the interest in mining Litecoin has been going down. However, compare this to Doge, where, where as you can see, um, the hash rate pro profited a lot from people fleeing um, Litecoin and coming to Doge. And also thanks to the tweets of Elon. Um, Furthermore, as I talked to, to you about uh, earlier, the management software that is being used for Gold Shell is very easy to set up. Um, you basically um, take your miner off out of the package, 
then you set it up with an Ethernet cable, a power cable, um, you look for the IP address of the miner, you log into it through your PC or laptop, whatever, and then you choose your mining pool, you add your address, and that's basically it. Now, since we talked about this, let's get into the actual profitability calculations. In this case, I will use 30 cents um, per kilowatt hour in euros since I live in Germany. And as you can see, the profitability, get, profitability changes a lot depending on where you are operating. So for example, um, if I would say I would want to use this in uh, Germany, I would make about 180 in Doge per day. But keep in mind, you would also get some Litecoin on top. Now, if you would use the, granted a lot more expensive, um, L7 miner, which is not out yet, you would be making 117 only in Doge with this. However, as always, it's uh, pretty clutch to keep your um, cost of your operation as low as possible because if you would, for example, not live in the country with the highest electricity bill in all of Europe, um, for example, with the L7, you would already be, be making 124 euros and here you will be making two euros and 37 cents per day. So per year about 854 in profits. However, this of course is, um, in my opinion, a little bit of a um, optimistic calculation because um, we might be in a in a time frame where still um, Dogecoin is still overbought and could go down. So, when it, in my opinion, like the mindset you need to have when you want to have an ASIC miner running at your house, your garage, basement, wherever, is that you need to be comfortable with uh, paying on top of your electricity bill to just be able to mine and um, amass a little uh, amount of coins so that one day when it pumps, you dump them and you make your profit. So um, I would not necessarily think of every single ASIC miner, every single mining day as a day that has to be in the green because there will be days where it will be tough, where you will be tempted to t unplug them and sell them, which of course sometimes makes sense. But in my opinion, ASIC mining is really something for people who are very passionate about a certain coin and about the um, technology in general. If you are lucky, you might find um, a kind of affordable gold shell uh, on eBay. So I'm not shilling it that you have to use the link in the description. However, um, here there chances are that you will pay a uh, big time premium for that but as you can see at the moment they are out of stock in gold shell who would have thought um, try out minor bros or um, whatever you want to choose from check the link in the description and other than that thank you so much for the attention guys i hope um, this video helped you a little bit and explained to you how you can mine doge and litecoin at the same time if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and comment your experiences with mining in the past few months down below. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any videos about cryptocurrencies and mining, make sure to subscribe to the channel with the notification bell. And once again, thank you for the attention. See you soon. Bye bye.